Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Um, I know I look like an absolute mess right now. I've actually just been spending the better part of the morning trying to build this shelf and I um, I put one of the shelves on the wrong way so I'll quickly show you. So this is a shelf. Obviously it's not completed yet but um, so this shelf here, how we've got the little holes. Now that was a detail on the instructions that I completely missed because, you know, just rushing through things may as well not use the instructions with how much I just rush, 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 rush. So anyway, um, <laughs> I put these on the wrong way and I had already nailed in this back bit. So in order to turn it around the correct way, I had to, as you can see, destroy a little bit of it. So <clears throat> that's actually just, yeah, so that's just dirt from where I've destroyed it. But if we come back here, where is it? So there's these bits here. Because they were nailed in, I had to literally, like, rip it out. And there's one just there. But it's at the back of it, so you're not going to really notice when it's built up. This shelf is actually like a, it's an over the toilet shelf. So I'm just trying to create a little bit more space um, throughout the house. And we currently store our toilet paper like in the linen closet. So if we can have this over the toilet and start storing our toilet paper in here, that's going to clear up a little bit of space in the linen um, that I can utilize elsewhere. We are going to be having a very busy day today. I don't know how much of it I will show simply because I don't want it to be repetitive of previous videos that I've done since it's mostly going to be cleaning. We don't have Jackson here today. He's actually out camping with his nanny and poppy and if they get any footage at all I will actually include that here. <laughs> So you're high up here, mate. Look at how look on we're on top of everything here. Yeah. No chop some grass. Chasing stars and holding you. Oh, you're clever. That is windy. <laughs> yeah, well that's all the air coming out of the tire, you see. How fast was that? You doing it? If you want, you can take that stone and pour it on the fire, or around the fire, before you break it. Yeah. So it looks like he's having a lot of fun, doesn't it? Um, I really hope he is having fun. It's supposed to actually get very, very cold where they are tonight. So I just, I really hope I packed enough warm clothes. I just. I stress that he's not going to be warm enough, but I'm sure he's going to be fine. I'm going to finish off this shelf and hopefully get started into some cleaning. Now the only thing I'm worried
worried about is that bottom bar. Um, how am I going to get it behind the toilet? So I got the shelving up over the toilet. I think it looks really good. Now the annoying thing is that bar down the bottom that I mentioned earlier. I've obviously moved it down, but if you look just behind there where the tap is, it is just in the wrong spot. So this bar is not reaching the screws on this side by like a centimeter. And it's really annoying. But not much that I can really do about that. Um, it seems to be okay at the moment. However, if it seems like it's getting a bit too wobbly or if it might fall forward onto like either of the kids at all, we are going to ask for permission to anchor it into the wall. Along with the toilet, I have like, I've multiple floors, I've vacuumed, I've vacuumed all up around the cornices and everything. I've done the same in here, I've just vacuumed this floor, I did the mirror, hello, yes I am wearing pants, I promise. They're just very short shorts. Um, and obviously this shirt is a bit long because I usually buy shirts online a little bit bigger just in case they are a bit tight. Anyway, um, so I have, I've cleaned the mirror. I haven't done a hole in the shower simply because a lot of that is just stuck on. Um, I'll probably try and groove the floor part of scrub, but I literally did this like eight weeks ago. So I really don't need to do the tiles, but I've cleared off that little window seal. I've currently got toys soaking in like a Milton wash and then I'll clean the bath because the bath is actually grubby. Not that you can tell. Um, and then this bench like sink area, I'm probably going to do Wednesday morning because over in this corner, I don't know if you can see it. So you can see how there's a bit of water there and it actually, whenever we wash our hands, the water just drips down into this corner under that plant. I may as well wait to do that until Wednesday morning because there's no point doing it now. I'm just going to have to redo it. So I've also just done this hallway, just vacuumed and mopped and then also that front foyer area. I also found somewhere to finally put my seashells. I have been holding onto those shells for about a year now. We never really had anywhere to put them and I was just like, you know what? That shelf just gets cluttered of so much crap that I decided I'm gonna clear it and I'm gonna put my shelves there because now I've actually got somewhere to put them and it's not gonna get cluttered with other crap. So. Yes, but um, I'm now just going to put some lunch in the oven. We're just having a random mishmash of things because I cannot be bothered to cook anything. I haven't forward planned this at all. I haven't even planned dinner, so we're probably going to have to go to the shop later to get some dinner. Well, we have eaten. I'm nice and full now. Lucy's had something to eat, even though she's kind of been snacking all day, but I still cook the food anyway. Um... Now I'm out here getting even more clothes off of the line. Remember that video I did last week? If you have not watched that video, you should go watch it. I'll leave it up in the iCard. Um, basically the whole theme of that video was like the mountain of laundry that I had to do. Well, I'm still trying to get through that mountain of laundry. There is still more clothes in Lucy's room that I need to fold and put away. And now I've got even more clothes up here on the line. Um, I've also got another load of towels in the washing machine currently, which I'll hang out. And then I could probably do another load of clothes. There is just so much. It's never ending. And I really hate the fact that my dryer is broken because that's what's made me fall so far behind. So I really need to get that fixed. But for now, I'm going to get these clothes off the line and then we'll probably quickly run to the shops. Um, and then I am going to have to go to my mum's to meet up with them there because Jackson has had a little bit of an accident and we may need to go to the hospital for that. So I have to check it out and then work out if I'm just going to go to the after hours GP clinic or if I'm actually going to go to the hospital. So I will keep you updated, of course. So we've just come back from the shop and while I was there, they have like those donation bins and there was a lot of stuff in my car that I actually needed to drop off and I was like, perfect opportunity, yay! While we were there, 
someone had actually like dumped a few things that were sitting in front of the bins and <laughs> they dumped or like they had sitting there this amazing amazing doll um i'll have to show you look at this doll i love those ringlets and naturally we're going to call her annabelle because why not you know we love horror movies and there's always such like a creepy vibe around dolls especially dolls like this and i feel like annabelle is just the perfect name to give her all right so i've just gotten to the hospital to meet up with my mum and jackson um they've already gone inside so i'm just gonna go meet them in there and i will see you inside hello hello what have you done um <coughs> you bumped your head oh yeah yeah can you see it now yeah yeah yeah. Ow. I wouldn't because it might hurt your head a little bit. Yeah. What's it go like this? That means it hurts. Does it hurt when you open your eyes like that? <laughs> uh, of course he's acting all happy now. Hey. He's got his little band on. Got four people in front of us. Hey. Hey. We are been for. But hopefully not too long of a wait. We're just the four. Hey. Oh, well, we got the band aid off. I'm just waiting for him to come back now. Hey. Well, I've just gotten home and Jackson is actually going to spend the night at my mum's place. He really wanted to still spend the night there so that's fine um, my mum is keeping an eye on him um he ended up just getting the cut glued and he's now got like a bandage over the top of it and everything so but he's doing much better so far no signs of any concussion or anything but my mum's obviously going to keep an eye on him um i know today's vlog has been very like wishy-washy like so many things happened that were just very unexpected and while I was at mum's um, Lucy's woken up like really cranky and she's just not well so even last night she was up for an hour because she had a temp and she just wasn't well she had a very blocked nose and she couldn't really feed properly so I had to get the snot sucker out and try and get some of it out of there so it could clear up her airways a little bit but yeah it sounds like she's not doing very well tonight um so I've got to go inside see what's going on there and hopefully hopefully she's okay uh thankfully we didn't actually have to wait at the hospital for long we got seen at about 8 30 and we first got there at about 6 something so it really wasn't that long of a wait which is fantastic um it's now like 10 to 10 i've just gotten home i'll probably just go in now settle lucy as best as i can and i'm probably just going to go to bed so i can start nice and early in the morning and get more of this cleaning done there's still so much that i've got to do but i know it can't be helped but I know I'll get it finished in some way. I'll probably be a little bit stressed, but that's all right. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you who have watched this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. We've got some very fun things coming up next month. Um, that is going to be an interesting one because... I am going to try and film every single day. 
I don't know if a video is going to go up every single day, but I'm going to at least film the adventures that we have. So subscribe so you can stay tuned for that and see what we're doing. But anyway, for now, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.